Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall learn how to display numerical data in stem leaf plot and line plots. First of all, let us discuss what is a stem and leaf plot. Now, this is a stem and leaf plot in which data is organized from least to greatest. And the stem and leaf plot is constructed by separating the digits of each number into two groups one as stem which is the digit at tens place and the other as the leaf which is the digit at the unit's place. Now here, consider the number 10 in which the digit at 10's place is 1 and the digit at unit's place is 0. So in the stem and leaf plot, the number 10 is written like this. That is, 1 is the stem and 0 is the corresponding leaf with the stem 1 and this represents the number 10. Similarly, here you can see the number 42 is written like this in the stem and leaf plot. Similarly, the stem 3 with the leaf 0 represents the number 30. Then the stem 2 with the leaf 5 represents the number 25 and so on. So in the stem and leaf plot, the stems are listed vertically and the corresponding leaves are listed horizontally. Now consider the following data. Now for this data, let us construct a stem and leaf plot. Now we know that the digit at tens place is termed as stem and the digit at units place is termed as leaf. Now in the given data, you can see that the digits at tens place are 1, 2, and 3. Now here for constructing a stem and leaf plot for the given data, we have drawn a vertical line. Then on the left hand side we have written stem and on the right hand side we have written leaf. And now we will list the stems from the least to the greatest in the stem column that is vertically, so we will write 1, 2 and 3. So here we have written the digits at the 10 space from the least to the greatest vertically and then we will write the leaves corresponding to its stem horizontally. Now the corresponding leaves with the stem 1 are 2, 5 and 7. So we we'll write 2, 5 and 7 with the stem 1. Then the corresponding leaves with the stem 2 are 0, 
2, 3, 5, 2 and 7. Now we will write these leaves from the least to the greatest horizontally with the stem 2. So we have written the corresponding leaves with the stem 2 from the least to the greatest. And similarly, we will write the corresponding leaf with the stem 3, that is 5. So here we have constructed the stem and leaf plot for the given data. Also we will write a key here, and like 1, then a vertical line, then 2, which means the number 12. Now there are some points to remember and that are a stem and leaf plot describes the spread and shape of distribution And if the stem and leaf plot is turned vertically, then it gives the shape of a histogram Now for this example which we have discussed earlier, if we turn this stem and leaf plot vertically, then we will obtain a histogram and from this histogram we can tell whether the distribution is symmetrical or skewed. Also, for a single digit number like 2, 3, etc., we take the stem as 0, which means in a stem and leaf plot, the number 2 will be written as 0, then a vertical line, and then 2. And for a 3 digit number like 432, we take the stem as 43 and leaf as 2. This means in a stem and leaf plot, the number 432 will be written as 43, then we will put a vertical line and then 2. And the next point to remember is always write each leaf even if it is repeated. Now in this example which we have discussed earlier, we wrote 2 twice corresponding to the stem 2 because 22 was twice in the data. And now we will discuss how to plot the numerical data on a number line. Now a line plot is a graph that shows frequency of data along a number line now it is best to use a line plot for comparing Fewer than 30 numbers and it is a quick simple way to organize data. Now let us see how to make a number line plot with the help of an example. Now consider the data showing number of students writing words in one minute in a typing test. 
Now in the first step, let us arrange the data. So we have arranged the given data. Now in the second step, we will determine the scale to be used. Now in the given data, as you can see, all numbers are multiples of 10. So on the number line, we will take the difference of 10. Now in the next step, we will draw a horizontal line across the paper. And here we have taken the numbers at a distance of 10. And on this number line, on the extreme left, we have written the number 10, which is the least number in the given data. And on the extreme right, we have written the number 70, which is the greatest number in the given data. And now in the next step, we will place a star over the correct number for each of the observations collected. And if a number is repeated, then we will place the star over the other. Now here in the data, the number 10 is repeated thrice. So we put three stars vertically, one above the other for the number 10. Then the number 20 is repeated three times. So we put three star signs above 20 on the number line. Similarly, the number 30 is repeated five times. So we will put five star signs above 30 on the number line. And in the same way, we have put the star signs for the other numbers also. So this is the number line plot for the given data which shows that three students can type 10 words in a minute, three students can type 20 words in a minute, five students can type 30 words in a minute, and so on. So in this way, we can plot the numerical data on a number line. So in this session, you have learned to display numerical data with the help of stem and leaf plot and line plots. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.